Hello everybody, in this video I will be discussing about how to decide between different SDN controllers and uh, how you can tell that which SDN controller is best. Now there is no straightforward rule or there is no hard rule or universal rule that you can apply and say okay this SDN controller. It all boils down to your requirements. Which are, what are your requirements and what are basically things that you need to do in your project or whatever you want to do with SDN. So the if I talk about uh, uh, division between SDN controllers, so I will divide them into pure SDN controllers, then some with specialized routing platforms, and there are other SDN related uh, OpenFlow related tools, but they are basically uh, routers. Uh, I mean SDN controllers. Sorry for this routing word that's coming on my tongue again and again. So <clears throat> let us discuss uh, the popular ones. So we have Knox, Box, Snack, Floodlight, Beacon, Maestro. Uh, Floodlight is basically you derive from Beacon and both of them are Java based. Uh, Knox is C++ based, uh, Pox is Python based and Snack and Maestro they are like depreciated a lot. Uh, if I talk about Knox, so Knox is basically C++ based and uh, you should probably use it if you want to develop SDN based applications and you are good at C++ especially in the area of networking and it really performs well because if you compare the performance of Knox with uh, uh, Pox so Knox has a very better performance so if you are concerned a lot about performance you should definitely go for Knox and as it's written it's developed by Nikera and it was denoted to research community uh, supported by OnLab type this OnLab and you will straightly go to the forums but uh, as uh, I tried a lot but I wasn't able to uh, receive a lot of support from the Stanford forums. Uh, it provides a standard C++ API for OpenFlow 1.0. Make sure that the current version of OpenFlow nowadays when I'm today recording this video it's one, OpenFlow 1.3 that's out there so definitely it's depreciated now. Um, as it's written it's provided controller and framework for developing OpenFlow applications and definitely if you are con concerned with application development you sh should and good at C++ then you should only go for Knox. Uh, it includes sample components for topology discovery, learning switch, network wide switch. Uh, when you download the Knox code from the GitHub repository uh, you get uh, several cores learning switch that you can use and it has been superseded by Pox so let's uh, talk about Pox. So Pox is written in Python and the difference between Knox and Pox is really about the language in which they have been written. So Knox has been written in C++ and Pox has just been written in Python but Pox doesn't perform well. It has some performance issues. Uh, Py Python, uh, it is okay. It's, I have already discussed that. Uh, it, uh, the great thing about it has it's a PyPy runtime for easy development. Uh, if you are concerned with development, as I talked about that earlier, uh, uh, Nox is good, uh, but this PyPy tool that you get along with Pox, uh, it makes your development really, really easy. And it runs on Linux, Mac, and Windows, and it also has some code learning switches, forwarding tools, uh, uh, ARP based forwarding tools, etc., that you get along with the, the standard GitHub code uh, along with that. Uh, floodlight it's the uh, I think it's the best one because it works for me that's why uh, otherwise basically it's a uh, Java based and uh, it has been supported by big switch networks now the support uh, provided by big switch networks is great their floodlight forum is really really good and helpful uh, because I used uh, it a lot and um, they really help you and they can help you unless the problem you are facing with your floodlight controller gets solved. Basically the problem I'm talking about is that problems that are occurring in your applications are the kind of stuff that you want to do with your floodlight controller. Uh, also I'm not very good at Java uh, but uh, they, because I am not really into running or developing applications I'm just concerned about like I, my stuff is not related about development I'm just related with testing stuff and uh, doing other things with the standard capabilities and the applications or the tools that come along with Floodlight. Uh, it is Java based and it, it basically it was built after Beacon. 
you need so you need to have Java installed in your computer there are two methods you can run it from light from the, uh, right from the Linux command line or you can learn it from Eclipse uh, that is used for the compilation of Java code uh, Indigo is a software that allows you to make switch hardware open flow compatible now the GUI or the graphical user interface provided by Floodlight is great uh, it helps you uh, visualize the topologies that you have created otherwise you can create your own uh, I use that and I really found them helpful so the next things uh, are open flow related softwares now the softwares that I have listed here are Flowvisor, MiniNet, Ryu and Fl Flo Routeflow now Flowvisor, Ryu and Routeflow are open flow controllers but this MiniNet is an emulation tool that lets you allow uh, uh, to, to to apologize or uh, you can say all of this stuff uh, related to SDN can be r uh, uh, like uh, run on this uh, mini nets emulation tool and there is another one that is NS3 but this mini net uh, basically uses the um, Linux uh, lightweight virtualization and it's uh, really feasible uh, I will discuss Flowvisor, Ryu, Ralph Flow in my upcoming video uh, that was to, for today. Thank you very much. Subscribe for more videos. And if you have any questions, you can comment them in down in the comment section, and I will uh, try my best to answer them. Thank.